The knot we are going to learn in this video may be the strongest knot you can tie when fishing. It's called the uni knot, and if its strength wasn't enough reason to use it, it's also an extremely easy and fast knot. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to tie the uni knot by first tying it with braid, and then I'll tie it with monofilament line so you can see that as well. After that, I'll explain how learning this knot is actually exponentially more useful than it may seem, so stick around until the end of the video to see what I mean. So getting right into it, the first step of this knot is running your line through the eye of your tackle, in this case a hook. Now you want to give yourself a decent amount of tag end to work with here, and then you're just going to kind of double it over on itself on the main line. And you probably want to pinch or otherwise secure these two lines together because the next thing that you're going to do is take your tag end and create a loop down and below your main line. So you have your tag end and your main line together and now you've created this loop and it kind of looks like a six. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your tag end and you are going to run it around and through this loop a number of times. Now how many times you want to do this depends on the strength of line that you're using. If it's really light line, you might want to run it six to eight, maybe even more times. If it's very heavy line, maybe three to four times or four to six times. So it's really going to depend on the strength of your line. So for this line, I'm going to do it five times. So I'm going to take the tag end and run it around and through both of those pinched together. So that's three times, four times, and five times. Now what you're gonna do is you can just go ahead and pull that tag end. Now when that's most of the way cinched down, what you wanna do is go ahead and wet your knot like always. And then you can, before you take all the slack out here, you can pull the main line, which will draw the knot down to the eye of your hook. And then at that point, you can get a good grip on all of it and pull tight on the main line. Check that your tag end is tight, it should be. And the very last step of your knot is to take your favorite pair of clippers and trim your tag end like so. Okay, let's tie this one more time. So this is 60 pound test. You're going to start with running your line through the eye of your tackle. Give yourself a decent amount of tag end and pinch them together, the tag end and the main line, right at the base of your tackle. Obviously monofilament and fluorocarbon has more memory than braid does, so it's always going to be a little bit trickier. Now you've made your six, and then this is heavier line, so I'm only going to wrap this three times. But you take your tag end and you run it around the two lines that are together there at the top of your loop. Once you've made your wraps, you can go ahead and pull on the tag end to start cinching your knot down. And you, at this point, want to wet your line. While that's happening, if this video has been at all helpful to you, hitting that subscribe button really helps the channel and I appreciate it. And once that's wet, what you can do is grab your main line and begin to cinch it all the way down. Like so. Now you can see here, you wanna take your tag end and pull that slack out. And then you can grab your main line and pull it tight and you can see everything fall into place. Trim your tag end. One unique reason this knot is so useful, aside from its strength and simplicity, is that by learning it, you actually now know one of the best ways to tie two pieces of line together. So if you need a way to tie a leader line onto your main line, by learning the uni knot, you really already know how. You just need to complete the process by tying it a second time. So click on this video here to learn how you can use what you just learned to quickly and effectively tie two lines together.